Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I'm going to read from the book of John to you today in chapter 6. Verse 51 of chapter 6 says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man shall eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Now, of course, these people uh, were carnal. They they even said, uh, thought he was talking about cannibalism. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, how is this possible? And many of them, the scripture says, went away. Verse 59, these things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is an hard saying. Who can hear it? And Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it. He said unto them, Doth this offend you? Jesus knew then, verse 64, But there are some of you that believe not. He knew from the very beginning who it was that would betray him. And then in verse 67, Jesus asked this question, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And, we'll believe, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot and the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him being one of the twelve. Where could I go? Peter said, Lord, where would we go? You have the words of eternal life. That's what this song says. Where could I go but to the Lord? Old song, good words. Where could you go but to the Lord? You may talk to a lot of people in this life, and you may find some help in talking to those people. Sometimes it's just good to talk, get it off your chest, but the one that can really help uh, where else would we go but him? He's the one that can really help us. Living below in this old simple world Hardly a comfort can afford Striving alone to face temptation sore where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Needing a friend to save me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? Neighbors are kind, I love them everyone. We get along in sweet accord. But when my soul needs manna from above, where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Needing a friend to save me in the end. Where I go but to the Lord. Life here is grand with friends I love so dear. Comfort I get from God's own word. Yet when I face the chill
here lean and dead Where could I go but to the Lord Where could I go oh, where could I go Seeking a refuge for my soul Needing a friend Save me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us, Lord. And we pray, dear God, this morning as we prepare to face this day, whatever it may hold for us, you will help us to understand that there is one place that we can go to get all the answers we have need of, to find all the comfort and all the peace that we have need of, and that is to you. We can go to a lot of places, we can talk to a lot of people, and there's comfort in talking to some, but God, I pray that you would bless when we come to you, that you would give us the peace that we have need of, and God, today we need that more than ever. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. If you watch tomorrow, of course, you will see our morning and evening services, and then we'll be back here Monday, Lord willing, unless something changes, and uh, I have another song and a piece of scripture for you. God bless. Have a great weekend.